Hey, what's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today I'll be reviewing Black Afghano from Nastomato. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Thanks so much for tuning in today. As always, I really do appreciate it and hope you're all doing fantastic. As a fraghead slash collector slash reviewer, I've definitely smelled a ton of fragrances throughout the years. Some that I have loved the minute I smell them and some that I smelled and didn't like at first but came around to later on. Today's video is on that topic, a fragrance that when I first smelled it, I really didn't care for it. Black Afghano came out in 2009 from Nazomato, composed by Alessandro Gortieri. It just wasn't for me at that point in my fragrance journey. Fast forward 10 years, 2019, last year, I was at Steven's house recording some videos like I always do. And I sprayed some of his Black Afghano on my arm and I went on my way home. And on my way home, I'm getting these really nice whiffs of what the heck is that? What the hell is that? I forgot Airhead that I sprayed some of that and then I realized that it was actually the Black Afghano. So 10 years later after the release of this fragrance, which is definitely polarizing. It's not a mass appealing scent. There are people who love it. There are people who hate it. So it's definitely one of those that either you love it or you hate it. Me, 2009, didn't like it. 2019, okay. I think in 2020, I'm ready to review it. Black Afghano from Nasomato came out in 2009, composed by Alessandro Gortieri. It was supposed to evoke the smell of a really fine hashish. Have I smelled hashish in my life? I think maybe once or twice. I used to indulge in the greenage back in the day when I was in my early 20s, but I don't do any marijuana or hashish. I just get my drink on, as most of you know. So, what do I get from this fragrance? It opens green like hashish or marijuana. It's herbal, it's aromatic, but not overly strong. As it starts to dry on skin, I smell the coffee. I smell just a touch of coffee, not as in a cup of coffee, like coffee grinds, like freshly grinded, freshly ground coffee beans. There's oud, which on my skin doesn't come off animalic. I've read reviews where they say it's a funky animalic oud. I don't get that. It's just a nice smoky woody oud on my skin. It's dark. It's masculine to me and definitely, most definitely mysterious. This is something that I would crave to wear personally in the very, very cold winter. This is not something that I would rock during the summer. I don't think I would anyway. What say you? You'll tell me in the comments later. But this for me is something that I crave in the cold months. It wears beautifully in the cold air. I think it smells better in the cold air than inside, which is where I first smelled it in 2009. And it just, it just didn't jive with my skin. But now I can definitely appreciate it because I smelled 10 years of ouds, all kinds of ouds, gourmand ouds, funky ouds. This here is not an overly aggressive oud, I don't think, but I like it. Black Afghano to me is a very nice herbal, woody, incense smoky, masculine, mysterious fragrance that is great and will shine the best in cold, cold weather, in my opinion. It's definitely a fragrance that I have to be in the mood for. It's not something that I would rock to work, but definitely on my own time, on my days off, what have you, I would definitely reach for this in the winter. I think that about sums up how I feel about Black Afghano. Black Afghano comes in their usual 30 mil size bottles. It'll run you 185, but you can pick it up at Max Aroma for 118. I'll leave the link down below if you would like to purchase Black Afghano. 
So that's my thoughts on Black Afghano, short and sweet, like I always do. Hope you enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think of this fragrance or what your fragrance that you didn't like at first but you grew to love later on is. Let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon to miss notifications and reviews of content and all the fragrance fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll see you at the next review.